the cheese, the fattiness, the onion, the sauce. Looks pretty dynamite. I mean, take a look at this yourself, right? I mean, that's a good looking burger. There's a content creator. Uh, some of you may or may not know. Uh, he is Sam the Cooking Guy. And he made a burger and it's literally called the best burger uh, I've ever created. So today, I am going to be making that burger. And I'm going to find out if it really is the best burger I've created. And the one I'm going off of is his 2.0 one. Uh, and so basically I'm gonna give it a try. But of course, it will be vegan. So when it comes to the burger, uh, there's gonna be a, a few different components in there. The first is the sauce. I'm starting with the sauce uh, because I wanna make sure that everything else is nice and hot. Um, and I did make a few modifications to what um, Sam used in his video. He basically used uh, mayo, ketchup, mustard, and some pickles. Um, I'm using a couple other ingredients just because I want to emphasize a little bit of sweetness and spiciness. Let me go ahead and show you the ingredients for the sauce. Okay, so when it comes to the ingredients, we have some cayenne pepper, some salt, some pickles. Now these are the Wickle pickles. They have a little bit of heat. Uh, we have some brown mustard, some veginase, ketchup, and then some hot honey. When it comes to the sauce, I'm going to dice up the pickles and then I'm mixing everything into a bowl and getting that mixed up and setting it aside. We have all of the pickle. Now let's add in the other ingredients. We're gonna add in the mustard. We're gonna add in the ketchup. Adding in the veginase. Let's add in that hot honey. And let's add in some salt and some pepper. I use cayenne pepper uh, because that's what we enjoy in this household more rather than black pepper. And let's uh, mix this all up. Let's give a taste. It's great. Sweet, spicy, tangy, all of the flavors of the mustard, the ketchup, uh, the hot honey coming through. Um, you get some of that pickle flavor in there. Uh, so this is really good. This is this is a good sauce so far. So well, step one is done on this recipe. Next, I am going to move on to cooking off the onion. Moving on to the onion. In essence, all I'm doing is caramelizing the onion. Now, it's gonna be a simple process overall, really. I'm going to slice up some onion and I'm going to cook it with some butter uh, and then let it cook down, let it brown up a little bit, caramelize. And then at that point, I'll then add in a little bit of salt. I'll add in a little bit of uh, pepper. Again, I'll be using some cayenne pepper. And then I'll add in some avocado oil. That will just help kind of give it a little bit more flavor, a little bit more fattiness in there. Uh, and it'll be absolutely fantastic. So let me go ahead and show you all of the ingredients I'm using for the onion. So we have some butter, we have some avocado oil, some, uh, some salt, cayenne pepper, and a white onion. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and prepare the onion. I'm gonna remove and discard uh, all of the parts that we're not gonna be using. And it's gonna be a lot easier to work with this if we cut it in half because we don't wanna be cutting a, a, we don't wanna be cutting the onion with it rolling all over the place like this. That's not gonna work out for us. So uh, we're just gonna cut the onion. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I don't want it to be too long, so I'm gonna cut it in half. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and cut some onion slices.
Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut one full onion because I like to have options when I'm when I'm plating up and putting this burger together. I want to make sure that I have enough onion because you don't want to be making your burger and be and then realize oh you don't you don't have enough onion. So let's go ahead and make a full onion here. If we have too much, we can always find another use for it. Now before my eyes completely melt off, I'm gonna go ahead and start the caramelization process of these onions by getting them on a nice hot skillet. Okay, I'm gonna add the butter to our skillet. Let that get melted up. All right, and time to add in the onion. Okay, so the onions are cooking. You can hear them going right now. Uh, I'm going to let them uh, just caramelize. They're first going to go to a stage where they get a little bit translucent. Uh, you're gonna smell a little bit of a sweetness in the air. Uh, that's, that's the onion starting the caramelization process. And then they're going to start browning a little bit. Once they start browning, that's when I'm gonna add in the salt and the pepper. Uh, get that mixed up let it just cook down just a little bit more and then the onions will be ready okay so the onions are a little bit beyond stage one of the kind of translucentness um, and they're starting to add the color so i'm going to go ahead and add some avocado oil that's going to add some more depth in flavor and fattiness to this it's going to be absolutely fantastic And now I'm gonna add in the salt and the pepper. All right, I'm gonna let these onions cook a little bit more and I will show you the final product of the onions in just a moment. All right, these onions are looking fantastic. They got some nice color on there. They feel a little crunchy, a little soft at the same time. Uh, absolutely fantastic. You can smell a little bit of sweetness. You can smell the onions are starting to cook up. Let's get on in here. Yeah, there we go. You can really see the onions now. Really looking good. This next part is something I've never tried before. Uh, but I'm going to use three different of my vegan meats in order to make the burger patties. And so I'm going to be using my burger recipe and I'm also going to be using two different steak recipes. Um, and so I've already, I already made the meats. Uh, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to run them through the food processor to kind of break up the meat, chop it up a bit. And I'm going to bring all three of the meats together and make them into a patty. Then I'm going to bring them and cook them on a skillet, smash them down to make some smash patties and, uh, start bringing all of this together. Okay. So here I have the three different steaks, uh, or the three different meats. I have the burger. Um, and then I have one steak and the second steak and now I intentionally made this steak um, a little bit lighter just so that we add a little bit of contrast in the burger patties or at least that's what I'm intending so we will see what happens all right we got two done okay this one didn't work out as well but that's all right we're gonna see what we can do so basically knowing that these this steak didn't uh crumble up as much i'm going to set it aside and what i'm going to do is i'm going to lightly mix up this mixture because it's pretty it's pretty sticky and it's going to stick together immediately so nice and gently incorporate all those flavors and then what we're going to do is we're going to grab a little of of this steak and a little of this mixture in here and we're just going to kind of work them together uh, because it's going to be our burger patty and just to kind of get an idea of the size patty that we're going to end up getting kind of test one out 
We smash it down. I mean, that's gonna be a pretty good, pretty good size burger patty. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this one aside and work through making a few of our burger patties. And so let's add our first burger patty on here. And we're just gonna really smash it down. It's nice and thin. It's gonna cook evenly that way. When it comes to making the burgers, uh, the first thing I did, of course, was fry them, as you saw. Um, but then I just added them to the oven um, and I'm baking them for 20 minutes uh, just to make sure that the inside of the seitan is fully cooked. Because if we were just doing the burger meat, then frying it would be enough. But the steaks uh, required um, steaming before. And because we're not doing that, um, I just have to make sure that the inside is fully cooked. Um, so they're in there. Uh, when they finish cooking, I will add some cheese. I'm going to be using uh, some chow cheese. Um, it's just a uh, creamy plant-based um, cheese. It's kind of cheddar-like. Uh, it's like a mix between a cheddar and an American cheese. And then I'm going to be using some brioche buns. Sam the cooking guy's burger is done. I, I will say it looks absolutely fantastic. I'm excited to try this burger, uh, especially to see how my, my vegan meat rendition came out on this burger. Um, but I mean like the cheese, the fattiness, the onion, the sauce, looks pretty dynamite. I mean, take a look at this yourself, right? I mean, that's a good looking burger. So uh, definitely gonna try this out. Uh, but one thing that he does in his video, um, I gotta do it in my video too, right? Like we gotta, we gotta give this thing a cut and a half. We gotta see what this looks like on the inside, right? It just, it just oozes. There we are. And it's time to just just try it out it's great you know it's it's a good burger uh, it's exactly as I was saying as as I went through this journey here uh, the sauce is fantastic you can use it for so many different things so many different sandwiches uh, the onions are caramelized they're sticky they're sweet fantastic the brioche bread is a perfect bread for this burger uh, the cheese is great and and the burgers worked out you get the flavor from three different meats so that's that's pretty exciting i i'm i'm impressed that this worked and i'm excited to know that i made three different vegan meats and combined them together to make this burger and it worked and it was fantastic and it loaded the burger patties with flavor absolutely fantastic you can check out those recipes on how to make those two different steaks and my burgers. Check it out here, right? I'll have links for you. Everyone, I look forward to making some more recipes with you soon. And uh, I'm excited about our time that we're going to have in the kitchen because I'm your friend with food benefits. And I'll see you again real soon.